This is probably going to transform advertisement like anything. You can take a virtual human or an AI model or in fact a real human being and you can slap any merchandise on them. Like you want them to wear a t-shirt that you have got, you want them to wear a hoodie that you have got. You can do all these things just simply using AI and less than a dollar probably. I'm going to show you every single thing that you have to do about it and the complete workflow so you can start creating your own AI model merchandising business or whatever that you want to do with that. So first of all, this is uh, possible thanks to Tryon. It's a new virtual Tryon system from a company called Fashion. It's available on file at this point. This is a very simple workflow. There are two things that you need. One, you need a model image. Next, you need a garment image. So model image is like where the human being and the garment image is where like what you want them to wear. For example, in this example, particular example, as you can see here, I've got this guy, the human guy, wear a particular t-shirt, which is basically from a internet, a very popular figure, Peter Levels. So I've gone to Peter Levels merchandise, took this t-shirt, they copied the web image URL, and went back to that particular model. And as you can see here, the model is doing good. And it's not like Photoshop, see, mind you, it's not like literally cutting and pasting it. That's something you can do with Photoshop as well. But what is happening here is it's trying to understand certain dynamics of your body, like the image depth, and then try to slap it on you so that it looks more natural. And if you show this to me, I would not believe that this is not um, AI generated. Like if, if you tell me that this is actual photo shoot happened in the model, I would honestly believe it. So what I'm going to show you a live demo here is that we're going to keep the same model, same guy, but instead of the t-shirt that I picked from Peter Levels, I'm going to go pick the t-shirt from MKBHD. So this is MKBHD's merchandise. So instead of using it on MKBHD, we're going to put it on the model that we selected. So first of all, copy the path. So go copy the path and then go back to file, keep the model image same. Now just the garment image, paste it. And now you can see here as a preview, you can see it is MKBHD. Then select what you want to change. Tops, bottoms, one pieces, and then you select tops. And then just like there are additional settings. If you want to do, you can do it. But for now, I'm going to just like simply go ahead and then click run. And you can see every single generation takes about like 40, 40, uh, 4 cents. So it's, it's a really good business. So if you can, if you can use this to, um, advertise a brand, if you want to create your own virtual try on application, I think this is the easiest because you have got the API. It's available for commercial use and all sort of things. So, okay. Great, we have got it here. So we have got the same guy who is the model here and the guy is wearing MKBHD's hoodie. So this is MKBHD's hoodie, which is like a real photo shoot, like actual human photo shoot. And this is, uh, we have taken a model and then just slapped it on him. And it's pretty good. Like, I think like there are like very few instances I would like fault it, but otherwise it's very, very good. So now what we can try to do is we can try to make one more change. So instead of changing the top of the guy, I want to see if we can change a pant. So I'm going to go Google for a floral pants, floral pants. I don't know what Google is going to think about me. So Google, please don't judge me for looking for floral pants. I'm going to go pick this image. I'm going to click next. I'm going to have the image, copy the image, uh, go back here and paste the image. And this time, instead of tops, I want to say bottoms. And I'm literally going to run it. So he's not going to wear the top t-shirt or hoodie that we gave. Rather, what he's ideally supposed to do is he's supposed to take this particular guy and then slap this floral pant. I'm really sorry to the guy. I don't know if he's real, but if he's even not real, if he's virtual also, love to submit my apologies for making him wear this. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. He has got a t-shirt. It's got like this floral pant. Um, if you see the similarity of the pant, I think there might be like slightly different, I guess, but otherwise it's a, it's a pretty neat pant. Uh, so he has got all these kind of things in there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to try it out for a uh, woman, like not like men. So I'm going to go pick a woman model. So I'm going to go pick a woman full dress model. Okay. Let's avoid controversy on a video. Uh, woman full dressed model. So I've got um, I've got a woman. Okay, this seems okay. So I'm going to go. This itself already is looking like an AI generated image, but 
I'm going to remove all these things. Select. Oh, it's not working. Okay, cool. Go copy this, paste it here. I've got this girl, and uh, I'm I'm going to make her wear the pant. So right now she's not wearing the pant, as you know. Here, uh, sorry, here she's not wearing any pant. So I'm going to make her wear this pant. Let's see how it goes. Click run. So we have got the woman, and we have got the bottom. Sometimes you might get an error. The only thing you have to do is you have to find a different uh, image. And also, as you can see here now in this current workflow, I'm not generating the image. What you can also do is you can probably generate an image like with a beautiful background and all sort of things and then do this thing. So right now my models are like quite on a plain background. Okay, she she got the pant. Um, there is a bit there, maybe like not perfect, but I think the pant is like fitting fine. So you can, you can, you can pretty much assume and uh, be sure that uh, this works. And if you were to use it as an API, you can go click API and then start like using it. You have got the entire code. The only thing that I would love to show you is like this actually works even if you have got like different backgrounds. So we have got this guy who is uh, the default image and he's on a different background. So even if the background is like not exactly empty, this will still work. So I'm going to go. He has got a shirt and a pant and I'm going to make him wear this floral pants once again so i've got this floral pant click generate i think i would have probably uh clicked like 20 30 times before i made this video so maybe like one dollar or two dollar i might have spent so i'm going to go click generate it's just the latency is the only thing if you're doing virtual tryout like you might want the latency lesser if you're a fashion brand but imagine like you want to like create a simple application where somebody can take a picture of them and somebody can take a picture of the dress that they're uh, seeing on a shop or somewhere and then they can wear it oh wow look at this guy wow that's that's a very nice floral pant i would say like the guy is wearing the t-shirt and the background is quite intact you can see all these kind of things and the floral pant is exactly exactly like uh, how we gave maybe like slight subtle changes i could not notice but it does its job so this is basically virtual try on uh, one of the hottest AI uh, monetization, um, make money with AI kind of a domain. You can also do it as a service business. You don't have to launch a product. You can go to a bunch of people and then say that, okay, I will do this for you whenever you have a campaign, whenever you want to do something, you give me the dress, you give the, uh, you give me a human or I'll create the human and I will just put every single merchandise that you have got and then make it like make the human with that like MKBHD. Like you have, imagine you've got like 10 different people wearing the same hoodie. It's, it's easy marketing. So you can do all those things and probably make money. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not making money. So, but this is virtual try on or uh, you can say that AI based try on clothes, try on tops, bottoms, and also one pieces. If there is enough interest, I would try to make a video about how to make a video out of it. But see you in another video. Happy prompting.